Is it is it hard is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I ain't had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. So if you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. What is going on everybody? Welcome back for another video. As you can tell today, we are turboing a customer's RSX. You wanna give him a little bit of a backstory there, old Michael? Yeah, uh, this guy came in a while back. I wanna say April or May. He, uh, he was NA, he had nitrous assisted back then, but he uh, made like 250 all motor. So now he's wanting more power and uh, convinced him it'll be. Sweet. So it looks like we got a, uh, is it a piece together turbo kit? It's 1320 manifold, 1320 intercooler. Uh, the piping and turbos, uh, random stuff, you know. Might have to make some stuff fit here. Nice. So, Jack Spania uh, GT3582. Nice, we've all run those millions of times. They make great power. They're good for like 600-ish? Yeah. Great for like 600-ish, actually. He's doing it all, fuel system all. We're doing fuel system, new harness, uh, going to E85. Goal is 600 horsepower, which you'll easily do. Because this uh, has a head package already, head package and dragger tail cams. I'm guessing an oil pump, right? Yeah, an oil pump. Cool. Heck yeah. Head studs, all the works, I'm guessing? Just uh, the only thing we worry about is the clutch. We don't know if the clutch is going to handle it, so we'll see what happens. Cool. Well, today he's going to go ahead and get the turbo kit in. Um, looks like you just said recently, the or a few minutes ago, that the yeah, downpipe's not going to fit. He wants to keep heat, so the part that sucks about this is on R6, the heater hoses right here go uh, underneath the manifold and then over so that kind of makes it a, a hard spot for the downpipe so I gotta mix them and figure something out there we'll see what happens cool. keep you updated on that but there's not really all that much to it I mean it always looks a lot easier on videos um, but it is definitely a little bit more difficult but there's not a lot of steps to it just a lot of times you're like modifying stuff so I'll show you guys some of the modification stuff and then the rest should be pretty easy just getting intercooler piping on. Um, are you tapping the oil pan? Or are you going to use that little no, he port on the, the side? Uh, he bought like pretty much the full Jack Spania, uh oil kit thing for this. So, so the, uh, the drain is going to go from the side of the tunnel cover and then the feed is going to go off the same, same way. Cool. Well, it should be pretty straightforward and uh, we'll be here for the process. Once we get it done, then uh, Wait for all this fuel system to get here and then we'll get on the dyno and see what it actually makes. We have the DC5 Creations fuel system. It's a drop-in kit. So it converts it from a uh, return style fuel system to a return style. Yeah. So that's, that's the downfall on these newer, newer cars. They have return styles, style, so, which is the bulkhead, bulk in setup. Do you have a, a video of when it was on the dyno all motor? Uh, I think so. I think yeah? Maybe we can put a comparison if you got one in there. Cool. All right. Well, enough of that. We'll get to it. What you doing now? Uh, modifying the fuel pump hanger. What so, you got to do to it? Since these are return style from factory, it's a regulator, so that's how I control the fuel pressure. So I just got to get rid of that and then just swap the lines around. Uh, since we're going with the 450, got to wire it. Uh, get a bulkhead, wire it. Make the feed line into the return line, and then drill a, a hole for the bulkhead so I can uh, feed the feed the pump into the new line. Do nice. Guessing you've done one of these before. Yeah. So this is part of the regulator. Uh, as you can see, this is, a, this is how the factory pump goes. A bunch of weird stuff going on with it. Alrighty guys, we're back in the shop. Michael went ahead and finished uh, that downpipe yesterday. Looks super sick. Uh, everything's finished. I heard him start it up here earlier this morning. And now, uh, now he's doing something over here. What you doing? Yeah, I'm just wiring uh, boost gauge, oil gauge. And then it'll be ready to go on the roller wash. Sweet. So... For an hour or so. Alright, sweet. So that means I'll come back in about an hour or so. And we'll get this bad boy on the dyno. And see how much power she's going to make. What, uh, what are we going for? Whatever the clutch can hold, he's wanting, or she and he, they both own it. They're wanting uh, 500 horsepower or so. So we'll see uh, how that holds up on this clutch. Is it a factory clutch? 
No, no, he says it's a stage three, but he don't know the brand. So we're kind of in the dark with that. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out here shortly. Four forty six, three hundred sixteen foot pounds of torque. Nice smooth graph. That was right around nine, ten pounds of boost. Go from there. All right, guys. So I let it cool down. Made some changes to the tune. Uh, just the feel. Added a little bit more boost. So uh, we'll see what it makes now. Four fifty nine, three twenty four foot pounds of torque. I uh, just cleaned up some fuel and added a little bit of a little bit of boost, but it didn't seem to make much more. You can see right about there, eleven point three pounds of boost. Timing super soft right now, so I haven't messed with the timing just much yet. Uh, so let it cool down and we'll go from there. There's a third pool. This is where just timing and uh Fuel corrections, same amount of boost. Check this out. Fuel focus, uh, 478, 336 foot pounds of torque. This is all just timing. Timing a little bit of fuel correction here. Nice smooth graph. Revving it to 8600 right now. Um, like I said, the head's built. Dracker tail cams, 3-2. Stop bottom end, K20, Z1. Uh, look at there, just a little bit less, 10.8, 10.8 pounds of boost, 
It's pretty stout. We'll, uh, again, let it cool down. And uh, we'll go from there. Yo, what's up guys? I just got back from driving through Kissimmee, which was a bunch of fun. It looks like we made some power with the RSX. Yeah, uh, 503, right at 13 pounds. Uh, that's crazy. Is this on E? Yes, it's on E. e that's why, five. that's why. Yeah, I threw a little bit more time at it, so it picked up a lot. Heck yeah, yeah, with only 13 pounds. We don't that know what the clutch will handle, so. Kind of either stay here or turn it up some more. Let's see what we that. Dude, 500 for a street car. Oh, yeah. This thing is going to be walking on 90% of everything on the road. They got a nice power band too. It's pretty smooth and pretty, works up pretty, pretty good over there. Oh yeah. Stays consistent and picks up. Super awesome. Well, thank you guys as always. Go ahead and like, subscribe, or go ahead and call it there. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't got no sauce, then you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce.